Hello guys, Christian here. So, today I want to show you a great tool. It's called Camos NC Editor. So, in Camos 18, there are a lot of enhancements. But one of the best, one of the most important, are the new Camos NC Editor. If you are working in another uh, software, if you are, let's say, a few years experience in CNC uh, programming. So after the post processing, there were there is um, another, let's say, simulation verification of the post process program. So on the market there are a lot of NC editor, from the free versions to the paid licenses. But one of the best, one of the most popular, are uh, Simco MC Editor. HEL and Simco made a partnership, so from the Camos 18, the user can open up the post-process file in the new Camos MC Editor. So just let me show you how to how to um, open the Camos MC Editor. So, right now, in Camos 18, you will have two options. You have a new icon here, which is called, of course, Cam Camos NC Editor. When you press it, it, it opens up the Camos NC Editor. If you are a little familiar with Simco, you will see this is the same interface. But, another good thing is, when you go to Camos NC Manager, right click it and go to options on the file locations you will have right now the ability to open the gcode file in a notepad or another application but also open gcode file in camo sensi editor but you can do another thing i defined here this small pocket just a moment to open to put a smaller tool let's say a flat end 4 and then generate and then generate so right now when i when i go back to cameras and hit post process In the options tab, I, I have here this option, open G-code file in Camos NC Editor. So, hit the fast post-processing and OK. So, right now, it opens up Camos NC Editor. Like I told you earlier, Camos NC Editor, it's powered by Simco. So, what can you do in uh, Camos NC Editor? As you uh, realize from the name of this program, it's an editor for NC programs, just like the free version or the pay version in Simco. So right here you have you have the NC program. It's these colors. You can change it. The comments the G90, G54, you can, you can change everything. You can do the, the basic operation, a new one, open, close, save, print, and so on. But also, you can do the basic, but also you can go to the next tool change. You can do the previous tool change, go to a specific line. Right here I have only one tool, of course I have some global setup about the controller setup, you can also set it here, in NC here is the file, the editor tab, in the NC functions you have renumbering, advanced renumbering if you want some specific controller type, Remove the uh, the end lines, mark. Uh, you can put spaces. Uh, 
insert spaces between uh, X and Y. Change every program in uppercase, lowercase. Another good function is adjusting the feed rate. Let put back, let's put back the uppercase and look at this value. Adjust feed rate. And right now all the feed rate all the feed, feed rates are adjusted. The spindle speed, some simple math math calculator. Of course, <clears throat> a toolpath statistics. You can export it also. Also, it, it will generate you a TXT file with the tool list. As I told you, one of the best NC editor in the market is right now Camors NC editor powered by Simco. And of course, you can do the transmission. And in the end, but not the, but not the last, it's the backplot window. So every CNC programmer uh, in every software in the market can do a simulation inside the software, can do a simulation outside the software. But many of us, after the boss processing, we need some rechecking of the CNC program. So you can do this verification in here in the camera sensor editor in this backplot window you can define also the this bounding box the toolpath so just start the toolpath and the simulation of course here are all the values for all axes. So, if you want another another reason why Camworks, I think it's one of the best tools in the market, and uh, uh, one of the most important enhancement in new version of Camworks, it's Camworks NC Editor. This is the first video published on the new website, so. If you like it, just leave a comment. If you have any ideas, just leave, leave a comment on the website, on, on my YouTube channel or LinkedIn profile. Thank you very much for listening and for watching this video with me. Bye.